What's up ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for checking out the video and welcome back to Polarcraft, the learning pushcraft channel. Uh, today's video we're going to carry on with my learning from Ray Mears kind of playlist. Uh, today's going to be all about axe work. Uh, so I have very, very little, in fact zero experience when it comes to working with an axe that is this big. Uh, so today I'm going to use the book to have a look at, uh, at his techniques on uh, splitting wood down, uh, at limbing some sort of bigger fallen trees uh, and generally trying to get to grips with how I actually use this uh, effectively and really, really importantly, safely. Um, so that's what today is all about. So come along with me. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you learn something. Let's go. Before we actually get to using the axe, um, I just want to make sure that it's, it's nice and sharp. Um, same, uh, same as a knife. Um, if your axe isn't sharp, it's not gonna, actually going to do any good. Um, so just before we get to splitting, I'm just going to use my 4 nib DC4 to, uh, to touch, up the, touch up the knife blade a little bit. Last time I used it, um, I did end up putting a small nick into the blade just here, so I'm really trying to want to really try to want to. I really want to try uh, and work that out, so, uh, so I'm just going to have a, a quick go at that. So what I'm doing here is I'm resting the axe on this nice big log and I've got my knee uh, resting on it further down the blade just to ensure that it doesn't go anywhere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a circular motion uh, across the top of the blade with the diamond side of my DC4 uh, in an attempt to get out this notch. So we're just going to carry on with that. Do the same on the other side. The first technique that I'm going to try is not actually one that's in the book, but it's one that I have seen a lot of other bushcrafters do uh, to split down um, smaller kind of bits of wood like this uh, in order to create uh, kindling uh, and tinder and, and fuel and stuff for your fire. Uh, and in this technique, what they do is they get a nice big stable log on the floor um, like I've got here and then rest the log that they want to split um, along this log here and then strike it from, uh, from the top. Uh, now it's important that the log is on the the log you're trying to split, sorry, is on the opposite side of the log to you. Uh, and it's also important that when apparently when you strike, um, the log is in the middle. So that if, God forbid, you miss, um, you're a lot less likely to hit yourself because the axe is going to go straight between your legs. Um, I believe the, it's important to keep your knees bent uh, and to have your non-dominant hand, so in this case my left hand, at the bottom of the axe, uh, and then your dominant hand kind of generating some of the power as you come through. Uh, as I say, I've never tried this before. Shut up, plane! So many planes. Um, I've never tried this before, so I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, so if I mess it up too bad, who cares? Feel free to laugh. I don't mind. <laughs> I'll laugh at myself, so it's cool. Uh, so I've got three kind of logs like this. I'm going to try and split down. Um, let's see how we get on. Okay, Kylo Craft attempting to split wood number one. Ah, oh, it's rolling around already. I don't even know if that's good. Okay, here we go. I've not done too badly there. I should now actually be able. Can I do that? Can I rip it open? Oh, power! Some of it, anyway. Most of it's actually come off. Okay, well, that was relatively simple. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's put it back down that way. See if I can split it again, shall we? I'm not quite impressed with that. Okay, so nice and bent, non dominant hand. Wah, wah. Missed. Let's try it that way, see if it's a little bit more stable. I did say I was going to miss. <laughs> okay. I wonder if this looks as silly as I feel with my knees bent like this. Ha! Oh, that was so cool. It works. Genius. I love it. Okay. Let's go. Let's see if we can do this one. Sorry I'm laughing so much, but I'm so impressed with myself that this hasn't gone as badly as I thought it was going to. Okay, final one. 
chest, number three. I've only missed once so far. I'm so, so happy. <laughs> oh, I had to say it, didn't I? Had to curse myself. Okay, here we go. Alright, well that has definitely split. Get out! So now what? I do the other side. Turn around, do the other side. That seems to bend up a bit, so maybe this isn't a great one because it's got a big glass. Knob there, but let's find out. Okay. And he misses. Maybe easier actually if I just hit a different, slightly different bit of this side. Let's try that. Knees bent. Oh, oh well done, mate. I definitely look like an idiot. Let's just do this. There we go. One fit is because of that. I see my head was off to the side then. I missed. Stay central. It's not going as well as the others did. Uh, you will not defeat me. I will break you, log. It's definitely a bit nice big crack in it. See, it's definitely kind of split. Oh. Now then, what's the technique for opening her up, I wonder? Oh, you could just miss entirely. is mine. Oh, well, that went well. Don't judge me. So why don't we try now, now that I've split these uh, bigger logs into two, see if we can do it again, split these a little bit smaller. Exactly the same technique. Legs nice and bent. You can stay there, stay over the top. Let's have a go. Ah! My accuracy <laughs> is not great at the moment. Okay, attempt number two. Boom. Oh, that split really easily. Okay, let's go again. This is so much fun. Now, I don't know if you saw that, but a tiny piece did fly off. Let's try it again. Boom. now he says confidently can you tell I'm having fun ah, I blame this piece of wood this is the one with this silly thing on it it's entirely the woods fault definitely not mine definitely not my technique at all <laughs> ha 
of the big chunks and cutting out the massive log as well. Now that we've successfully split our bigger logs into uh, smaller sizes like this, I'm going to use uh, a technique for splitting that is uh, in my in my Ray Mears book, um, which involves using two hands. Uh, this is apparently the safest uh, and most efficient way of splitting down smaller pieces of wood. Um, to avoid you doing things like this um, and trying to stand up on the log and holding, holding the piece of wood with your hand and then chopping into the top of it, which obviously if you miss, you're going to cause yourself serious problems. So this is a safety technique, uh, but is also very, very efficient as well. What I'll do is, is I'll, I'll attempt to explain the technique to you as best as, as I see it and then and I'll show you what it says in the book. The way this works is, as I say, it's a safety thing, so you're using two hands as opposed to um, before when we had both hands on the axe and we were bringing the axe down. Uh, this one actually involves having uh, your non-dominant hand on the piece of wood itself. Uh, and what you then do is you place your axe head uh, into the wood there um, and then kind of you're bringing, you're getting hold of all of it together. Hopefully you can see that, so I'm holding the wood and the axe uh, in the hand, uh, in my left hand. I'm controlling it there just with my index finger right hand um, so it's a very very controlled strike and then what you're doing is you bring both the wood and the axe down together so the axe is in constant uh, contact with the piece of wood uh, and then bring it down and that should onto your onto your sort of logging log I'm not sure if that's the right term but whatever uh, and hopefully it then should split nice and easily so um, let's give it a go shall we so there you can see it's cut straight through and then in theory if I just twist the axe a bit that should split all the way down to the middle. Wow, that was really cool, that was really easy, I like that a lot. Let's do it again. So I was doing it slightly differently before, the last time I was out with my axe, I don't think I was doing it correctly, which is that I wasn't holding both with the same hand, and then bringing them down in one motion. So, this is a little bit trickier now that that's got a point on it, but that's kind of it, so let's try there. Okay, that didn't work quite as well. I wonder why. Try it this way around. So I've got a bit of a flatter point there. So at the end of the axe, that's all held in one place. Hmm, maybe I don't have enough surface area on the axe. Let's try it a bit lower, shall we? Hmm. Tell you what, let's have a quick look at the book and see if that says something that I've missed, shall we? Because it worked the first time and then kind of stopped. So let's have a look. Okay, the book gives pretty much the same direction, in fact, less direction than I just tried to use to explain it. So, um, tell you what, well, let's not give up. Let's, um, let's get a different bit of wood and, and try again. I did just notice in the book that uh, the piece of wood that Ray is splitting is the other way up to how I was just doing it. His axe was actually on the back side where the bark would be um, and that his axe head is actually kind of slightly over the edge of the wood. So I'm going to see if that makes any difference this time. So let's do as Ray Mears does because he knows best. So let's give that a try. So slightly over the edge on the bark side, nice and controlled. Shouldn't need any force. There we go. That has split slightly better. Although this may need... No, it doesn't need another one. Cool. Okay. Let's try that again with a slightly smaller stick. Stick. Slightly smaller bit of wood now. So, axe head slightly over. On the bark side. Nice and controlled. I slipped. That was my fault. Okay, yes, yeah, so that did work slightly better. Not quite getting. Apparently, you can. There's a huge amount of control that you can put into this. So I don't know. I wonder what it, it seems to me. The more the more of the axe head that's on there, the better. So let's try it again this way. Because hmm. the way the videos that I've seen of him are playing.
Maybe if I use a slightly different angle, this way he's just like that. But my axe, maybe maybe the axe is too big for this. Maybe that's what the issue is. I can't imagine that's tr the case. Hmm. Keep practicing. Let me try that. Try more of the axe head off. That seemed to work a little bit better. Hmm. <laughs> Go back to the bigger pieces. They seem to work more easily. I have slightly more control. Nice. Sorry, I realise I'm not talking anymore and I'm actually just practicing, but kind of trying to get the right technique. Ah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Maybe it's because there's knots in the wood. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, the basic technique is there anyway, which is really cool. Um, we'll give it one more go and then we'll move on to something else. But I'm having fun. I like this. This is good. Really good practice as well. Both. Let's give that a go. Yeah. I think it all it's gotta be experience, isn't it? And just practice more than anything else. So all that means is I have to spend more time outside playing with an axe. Oh no. That did not go well. Well, having done the splitting over the log and then of the smaller pieces anyway and then splitting them down a bit um, the next thing that I'm going to have a go at is uh, classic splitting now I've never done this before uh, again so this will be <laughs> a, a very new experience for me but hopefully a lot of fun and hopefully I won't suck at it too much um, the book says to do this and um, you need a good a good um, chopping block I don't know if that's the right word but I've found this uh, huge huge piece of, uh, of trunk um, that was available to me. It is a little bit rotten, but it's still nice and stable, so I'm hoping that that... God, I'm hoping it'll be all right. Uh, I'm sure it will. Um, and we're gonna, uh, gonna try and split some of these bigger logs that I have here. Now, oh, um, according to the book, the best thing to do is to put the, the log that you're gonna split on the far side of your chopping block. That way, um, as the ax comes down, if you happen to miss, there's at least still some chopping block in between you um, and the axe. Um, they say actually the best thing to do is to do it kneeling down. Um, I haven't found a chopping block that is small enough, so um, I'm going to. I'm actually going to try standing up because you know what? I'm a rogue and I do what I want. <laughs> I'm going to try to do it standing up um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll hurt myself, which I won't. I'm sure I won't. So uh, interestingly, in the book, um, I read that when. The point of, of splitting the wood is not actually to try and drive the axe as far as you can into the wood itself. Um, apparently the best thing to do is as you hit the log is to actually twist the axe head to the side as a diagonal and come away so that it's so it's actually the splitting force of the axe rather than the rather than the cutting blade if you see what I mean. So you're not actually cutting the um, you're not actually cutting the wood, you're actually using the, the force from the axe head. To, uh, to uh, the log to split itself, I think is the idea. Um, so as I say, I haven't tried this before, so let's give it a go. Um, so same as before, I'm gonna have the axe, the axe handle, the bottom of the axe handle in my non-dominant hand. Uh, so my dominant hand really generates the power. Make sure that I've got enough space and I'm not gonna muck it up too much. Okay, uh, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Polo craft, 
log splitting attempt number one. Well, hey, look at that. <laughs> that, uh, that just split right down. <clears throat> God, I'm good! I, uh, I have a small confession to make in that um, when I just split that last log, uh, I did not do any kind of angly, twisty off thing. I just drove the axe straight through it. So, um, <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, it, to be honest, it is really difficult to actually remember to twist your hand like that. So, um, so let's try and do it again and see if uh, see if I can remember to twist somehow on the point of contact. It actually sounds sounds very easy, but it's actually really tough to uh, to do. So let's try that again. Okay, so that, I actually was way too close to the log there, hopefully you saw that. So let's try again. Boom. Again, yeah, definitely didn't twist. Definitely didn't twist, but it worked. I'm having so much fun now. The only thing is having to go and pick the wood up once you've chopped it. So it seems to fly off in all directions. Let's try again. Getting smaller now. <laughs> oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Anyone? I sleep all night and I work all day. Down trees, just get my knees. Oh no! Oh, maybe I'm not a lumberjack after all. Haha! <laughs> oh dear, chopping block's falling apart. No. Maybe that's a little bit too small. Aha! Big piece. More things to chop. That was my fault. Axe slipped in my hand. Wasn't holding it properly. It's getting cocky. Boom tings. Daddy, got a big old thing there, so I don't know if this will work, but let's try it. This is huge, that's really actually quite unstable. No, oh, stay. A bit better. Alright, wish me luck. Still, I'm in no way twisting, which is a shame, but it's good to know splitting <coughs> wood in a classical fashion is not as difficult as you may have thought. Awesome. So what I have here, as you can see, is a nice big uh, down tree. Uh, and I thought the next thing that we'll do uh, to practice with the old axe is to practice um, limbing uh, a bigger piece of, uh, piece of down wood like this. Uh, according to the book, we should be able to do smaller branches in just one cut uh, and the bigger, thicker ones in three. So what I'll do is, is obviously I'll bring the camera closer uh, and I will, well, we'll see if we can do it. So, uh, yeah, give me a sec, and I'll come and get you. Whoa. 
whenever we use an axe, um, I mean, it might seem obvious, but we need to be as, as careful and as safe as we possibly can be. So what I'm going to do in a minute is take this smaller branch off um, to practice the, the limbing, hopefully just with one cut. But I want to make sure that uh, obviously I'm as safe as possible. So there's loads of bits of other bits of branch here that um, that are kind of in the way uh, and might either trip me off or, you know, if I hit them, they might splinter off or whatever. So I'm just going to get rid of all of it so that I have as much room uh, to kind of to swing at this uh, small limb as I, uh, as I need. So I'm nice and safe uh, and we don't risk any kind of physical injury. So uh, give me a sec. A limbing stroke, according to the book, is one swift kind of diagonal, uh, diagonally down motion, uh, which should, in theory, sever the limb uh, in one go. So. Not a bit of damage there, but mind. Hopefully that won't ruin everything. You just to be on the safe side. So what I'm going to do is nice firm grip. I'm going to be swinging away from my body, so that if I miss, the axe goes into thin air, uh, and I don't risk hitting my feet in any way. So toes well out of the way. Nice firm grip. Let's have a go. See if this works. Ah, oh, missing. Okay. All right, well, I needed three, but you get the idea at least anyway. It still seems to work. Nice, powerful chop. Good job. So when taking off a bigger limb, like the one we've got here, um, apparently the best thing to do is, we should be able to do it in three strokes, apparently. The first one is a diagonal cut. The second one is then a 90 degree cut to an attempt to thin it and then the third one we should be able to just take it off with one final um, swing of the axe. Uh, again I've never done this before so I have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, I actually think in all of the pictures that I've seen in the book, the uh, oh shut up, um, all the pictures that I've seen in the book, the limbs that he is uh, striking off are actually all horizontal rather than coming out of the trunk vertically so I don't know if that's going to make any difference. I'd imagine it probably will um, but hey ho let's give it a try. So we've done Sort of an area check so we're nice and safe so we'll just uh, see how long it takes us to get this uh, this limb off wish us luck okay so that's one so that was kind of the diagonal one now we're supposed to do a 90 degree one so let's hope i don't muck this up too badly wasn't too bad actually quite accurate i'm quite surprised with that and then we should in theory now be able to do it with a another um limbing stroke so let's have a go well we missed that but that's probably got something to do with our accuracy Let's try again. Try another 90 degree one. And then. Okay, so not quite as smooth and clean as you might think, but we got the job done. It looks relatively okay. And then we could, uh, we could stick a words. We could continue to split that down um, and make, uh, make some pretty decent firewood out of it. So. All in all, you know, it was a first attempt. I'm quite impressed with that. So, I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the camera off for a little while, and I'm going to continue to um, chop up this tree just for fun. So I'll get back with you in a little bit. All right, we've covered quite a lot today, guys. Um, as I said right at the start, um, you know, wax work is something that I have very little experience with. Um, so to be able to be outside and actually try some of this stuff um, with this amazing axe um, has been really, really cool for me and I have certainly learned a lot. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned um, something, <laughs> even if my techniques aren't quite up to standard. You know, a lot of this is about practice. So, um, so some of it went really well, other bits didn't go quite as well uh, as I would have hoped. But as I say, you know, you just got to get out um, outside and try this stuff. Uh, more often so um so that's it so thank you very very much for watching um if you're new here please you know feel free to subscribe uh, share it with somebody else that you think might like this kind of outdoorsy stuff um and i will see you guys later <laughs> right. Have at you, enormous piece of wood.
Man versus nature. Enormous log. Can he split it? Dun, 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 dun. Struggling to even put his axe sheath away. Okay, here we go. Massive chunk of wood here. Small axe. Oh, beast. Let's have a go. <laughs> yes! Oh, this is so much fun. You didn't see anything. 